They've got Americans addicted to sugar. It makes you obese. I found it astounding that the poor people, many of them so uneducated, they will bypass the nutritious stuff and head right over to Chips Ahoy. Educate our poor people to eat correctly and then try to get food to them that is good, honest food that isn't destroyed with all the sugar. We're spending more than any other nation in the world, but longevity of life stays the same. The average person pays about $9,000 per year, yet life expectancy is on par with nations that spend half as much. How is that possible, Governor? Why is healthcare such a money pit? Well, you know, Brigida, sometimes I don't have the answers, and this is one that I really don't have the answer to. I can only assume... Wow. It's not often you hear someone say that they don't have the answer for something. I even say that in some cases, but not this case. This is my area. Healthcare is a money pit, meaning they throw money into it and we don't get results. It's all wasted money. That's because healthcare is not healthcare. I'm healthcare. I take care of my health, but the healthcare system is actually sick care. Now, I know he's got to know that, and we'll hear his answer. He gets some stuff right here. If you don't know the answer to this question, you're just not looking at it right. you got to think of the reason we're spending so much on this health care is because people's health is already going down, and it's continuing to go down because health care isn't solving the problems. The problems, he touches on this, have to do with, of course, not just unhealthy eating. and The American diet has just gotten worse and worse over the last 60 years. But it, he also mentions other things like cell phones and, and also medications, drugs. I can only assume and move forward and say it's what we do to our food here. You got GMOs now, you got all these preservatives. Everything in the store has to have a shelf life of 30 days. So they put chemicals on everything. Chemicals used by farmers far too much. It gets into the dirt, it Pesticides. gets into the water system. And Fungicides. Clear, today you can't even drink water on Herbicides. the stream. So when do you think the uh, decline of American health began and who do you think benefits from it? Well, I think the decline of American health began when uh, sugar was introduced into everything we eat. Sugar is not particularly a good thing to consume a great deal of it. It makes you obese, it's not healthy, and yet if you look at everything, turn boxes over, read labels, you'll see sugar is generally at the top. They've got Americans addicted to sugar. I have a sugar addiction. It's what you crave the most, bread! Patients who tend to be insulin sensitive and may, uh, may have issues with carbohydrates. They've got Americans addicted to sugar. Okay, here we go. Now what he's saying there is a half-truth of a half-truth. It's true that sugar's not good for you when it's refined, but you also have to realize what sugar's being put into. Sugar's not being put on vegetables. It's mostly in junk food. And while it's true that people are eating more refined sugar and more junk food, people are also eating more fat more meat, more eggs. There was a time when, when eggs wasn't a regular food. I, I want to make a video about that. What were people eating? Well, in the early 1900s, for all this processed food, and before the 50s, where you know, the meat and dairy industry started their propaganda, people ate vegetables like they don't today, and they ate grains. There was a time when bread was the very foundation of our food pyramid. But it became public enemy number one when we realized we See all this anti-wheat and anti-sugar stuff is just what the meat and dairy industry are using to try to take themselves and their products off the hook. They ate a variety of just whole foods, which they cooked themselves, like potatoes. Back then, meat was not the centerpiece of almost, almost every meal. People hadn't yet thought that way. They were conditioned to think that way. There's one myth I want to dispel. 
They've got Americans addicted to sugar. Sugar is actually not addictive. People can get off it anytime they want. They just have to do it. And this is easy to prove. First off, sugar is a nutrient. It's found in every single food in nature. And sure, a lot of drugs come from plants when they refine it. But those aren't nutrients. Those are micro chemicals found in the plant. And people get addicted to those things. And when it's taken away, they have withdrawal symptoms. People don't get withdrawal symptoms when they remove sugar from their diet. Although people might think that when they like go on a diet that doesn't have sugar, and they might be eating less calories, and they'll get hungry. Then they'll get irritable. That's from eating too low of calories. Maybe Jesse just meant emotional or mental addiction. Well, there is that. That's going on, but it's not with sugar. Sugar is a natural taste that we're meant to seek out. It's something that our bodies use for energy. If you get it from healthy sources, there's no health problem. The health problem is with junk food. And if you taste sugar by itself, it doesn't have any taste. What people are addicted to is the specific taste of these junk foods, which is caused by the entire ingredient list, not just the sugar. Because, you know, we got fake sugars now, and it produces a similar tasting junk food. It is the taste people are addicted to. And you don't overcome that by eating less calories and bland food. That doesn't work. You can still have taste eating healthy. A lot of fruit and a lot of other foods which are, which are flavored without unhealthy ingredients. This just in, I had posted a message on Jesse's Twitter account and I got a message here. Someone has liked my reply and I, I recognize the name, Regina. Producer, co-host of The World According to Jesse, correspondent, special. That's pretty awesome. Nothing like that's ever happened to me before. Okay, he mentioned the ingredients list on a whole bunch of products and how it's just sugar all over the top of the list there. So let's take a look. I grabbed this out of my fridge, first thing I saw. Yeah, this is dressing. People pour this on foods to make it taste better. Let's see what we got here. After water, you've got oil. Then you got sugar. And then you got cheese. A lot of cheese in there, which means fat, basically. But you really can't tell by the ingredients how much fat and sugar is in here. That's what this part is for here. Here you got total carbs, three grams. Let's see, total fat, 11 grams. I didn't even look at this mess here. Let's see what we got here. Now here is a carb-based food, potatoes. Let's see what we got here. Well, <laughs> see, I didn't know what we were going to see here. Oil is the first ingredient. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Shouldn't it be potatoes? Okay, yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> Oil's the first ingredient, then potatoes. Then, of course, sugar comes in. Well, they, yes, they put sugar in almost everything, like junk food. But the oil's there, too. And even when the oil's below the sugar, the oil adds up faster. And so you gotta look up here. Now let's take uh, other packaged food you can find in the wheat product here. And, of course, it's got a lot of carbs in it because that's in the real whole food. But if you look at sugar, it's low. As a matter of fact, there's no sugar added here. There's nothing refined here. So this isn't junk. It's, it's possible to get real food that's not filled with fat and sugar. It's up to you to just do it and then flavor it with spices, tomato sauce. So yes, sugar is not good for you in high quantities. But what's worse is when you're not eating a healthy diet of whole foods, fruits, vegetables, grains, beans.
great lifestyle. Tell of a man on the verge of logging right into the twilight zone. The real enemies are other vegans. You can kind of see just how in the physical and the, in the body language. What do you mean? It's just very weird, man. I mean, what are you talking about? They don't want us to leave. What makes you say that? Where'd you get that idea? Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever heard? It's always that way in every story I've ever read. Is it possible that the speculations are true? He always was an oddball. That during Ryder did something to Fixie, Fixie was getting in the way. I don't know. Why don't we go downtown and check with the police? Well, they'll probably think we're crazy or something.